Speaking of the roads, on Kauai, state officials will reopen Kuhio Highway tomorrow. One lane will be open to the public as crews work on emergency repairs following the landslide last week. And joining us now with more is Ed Sniffen, Deputy Director of the State Department of Transportation. Good morning to you, Ed. Thanks for joining us again. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Now, before we get to the work that crews have done and completed, can you tell us about the reopening tomorrow? Absolutely. We're excited to return some mobility back to the community. So every morning, we'll be opening the, um, the lane, a single alternating lane, at 5.45 a.m. till 7.45 a.m. Um, every day, we'll shut down for construction, and we'll open up again at 5.45 p.m. to 10 p.m. to provide that mobility back to the community. And during, the, during the afternoon, we understand from talking to the communities that there needs to be an afternoon break as well. So every day we'll open up those lanes, again, that single lane again, at 1.45 p.m. to 2.30 p.m., except for Wednesday. On Wednesday, we'll open up at 12.45 to 1.30, and that schedule was built around Hanalei School, make sure that there, there was pickups and everything. So although we want to give as much mobility back to the community, we still got to reserve some time for the contractor to do work on an active landslide area. And before we get to what work needs to still be done, what have crews been working on to get us to this point? <clears throat> Tremendous work. Uh, our staff and our contractors did amazing work in making sure that first we assessed the slopes to ensure that it was safe, um, knocked down any materials that was up there that could come down on anybody. Um, second, making sure we cleared the road, um, pushing all that landslide debris over the edge uh, to be stored on the, low, the lower side of, this, of that slide, and then setting up barriers and fencing to ensure that if any de small debris comes down, it's captured before getting into the lane. Then we set up our security checkpoints to ensure that if anything occurs, we could shut things down. All of this to make sure that the, the public is safe. We even set up a slope monitoring system on the slope itself to ensure that if there's any movements at all, either uh, at the surface or below, we'll know about it as soon as possible. And what more needs to be done to get the highway fully reopened? And when could the highway fully reopen? Yeah, so it's still an active landslide area. The upper portion of the slope, everyone will see, is really steep still. So we're working on stabilizing that first with some soil anchors and some rock and, um, concrete facing. Then we'll rebuild the slope. We'll start um, anchoring the slope through, um, setting up meshing on the slope to ensure that there's no, no more slides in that area, and then replanting it. In general, based on our procurement and construction, we're looking at a three to four month schedule. We'll, we'll lock down that schedule after we bid it out to the, to the contractors though. And of course, that's all weather permitting because if heavy rains come again, it could take even longer. Exactly. Yesterday was beautiful, nice and sunny. I mean, the day before, sorry, yesterday was just horrible. <laughs> More rain throughout the day. All right. Ed Sniffen with the State Department of Transportation, thank you so much for giving us that live update on Kuhio Highway. Again, one lane opening to the public tomorrow. Thanks, Ed. Thank you.